Alright guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to build a bat rack like this. Uh, this bat rack holds 13 bats. Uh, one of the nice things about it is it does fit nicely in a trunk of a car. Um, I did make a couple of these that were too long. They didn't really fit. They were great pickup trucks, not for your typical cars. This one overall is about 50 inches long. Um, it does not need to have caps put on the end. But uh, I put the caps on it just to kind of jazz it up a little bit, give it a little more of a clean look. Um, it's got carabiners here with these chains. This allows you to hook into your typical chain link fence at your baseball games. Uh, one thing that I've learned over the years, um, especially with the younger age kids that are playing baseball, is we take this, even if, the, even if the dugout already has a bat rack, we'll take this one, we'll take it and set it outside of the dugout um, when you're doing 10 year baseball, AE baseball, every kid that's got a baseball bat is gonna be holding the baseball bat in the dugout, swinging the baseball bat, potentially hitting somebody in the baseball bat or hitting somebody with the baseball bat in the dugout. So we just go ahead and take this completely out. Um, when you are on deck, then you can go get your bat, get warmed up outside where it's safe. Um, what started this project is years ago, I was helping a coach and he just made the comment that, man, there's $1,000 worth of bats just laying on the ground, just jumbled together. And when you start doing the math on them, a lot of the bats that we're playing with now are 150, 200 bucks a piece. You have 13 kids on your team. Do the math. There's a lot of money sitting right there. Um, this is going to protect them. Hopefully it's extended life on them. Um, I do have a couple pictures of what your typical dugout looks like um, based on the last couple games that we played. Uh, we didn't have one of these there to use, um, but uh, we'll get this one used. Uh, first thing you need is a saw that's capable of safely cutting a piece of PVC. Uh, I'm going to be cutting the PVC at 48 and a quarter. Get this cut here. Here's a shot of the plans that I had drawn originally uh, when I first came up with this. I uh, don't mind the WD-40 spot. I've used these plans quite a few times. Um, if you also notice right here, that's got changed to inch and a quarter. I realized I can get them just a little bit closer. Um, the more bats that I can hang on a rack, the uh, more useful it becomes. And then this is also the measurements that I came up with. These are across the top. This is the hardest part of the whole project is getting all the math to work out exactly right. So there's that. Here's my line for the top. I'm just gonna write top on this so I don't forget. I'm gonna take this ruler. I'm gonna go this way so it's easier here. Inch and three quarter. Make a mark. One inch. Make a mark. That's one inches from the very top here to the very top, top here, to the top here, and then inch and three quarters again. Draw these up on top, and then we'll transfer those lines. Right, so let's transfer those lines. I'll do it on that side so you guys can see here. So I have a line here, a line here, here, and here, and I want to transfer those down. So what I do is I take this level, rotate it, and it's just a matter of going right on down. You rotate the PVC until you come to the next one. Rotate again, and at the last one. And there is the marks on the PVC where everything's gonna be made off from. So these lines will come back off later. Once I get done, I will take a piece of 120. I'm gonna break all the edges so they don't damage the bat. And then I'm also gonna just real quickly sand off these pencil lines I'm putting on here. Bolt line, this is top, and this is circle. Just gonna make a little diameter mark there. All right, I have a piece of PVC that I've got cut from doing this before. Uh, this is going to transfer my lines down super easy for me. Part number here is exactly what this overlaps. 
so my bats are as close to these end caps. Put these little end caps on. Um, I like to decorate them. This is our school logo. And of course you gotta have one of these on there too. All right, when I transfer these lines, I'm just gonna take a piece of scrap PVC that I had. It uh, follows the curve pretty good. I'm just gonna line it up on the side and just draw a line. And it looks like that. Um, try to get them as close as you can, but this PVC can be off a little bit for what it's gonna be. Mark from this side, mark from that side. Now I know where my middle is. Compost will dig right into it. I'll just make a nice arc. That's just gonna be my guide. If it's off these lines just a hair, that's okay. I'm gonna be cutting one smooth motion with the jigsaw anyways. So there is the bat racks. Right here's where the uh, knob of the bat goes. It'll slip in and it'll slide right down and this will support the neck. And it's done all the way down. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start drilling out these corners. We use a three inch drill bit. I'm just gonna try getting it close. Just like that. Hole's big enough for my jigsaw to slide in. I'm looking to get that as close to that, let me get real close here for you, get as close to these two corners as I possibly can so that when I route, when I hit it with jigsaw, it's just gonna go boom, we're gonna go around. We're gonna cut these squares out and then we'll cut this out second. All right, it's gonna take me a few minutes, so let's get going. So now it's just a matter of cutting them out with the jigsaw. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna cut these squares out all the way down. Here it is all cut out. Um, it's a little rough. Uh, what I did do is I went back, I measured 32 inches. Um, not knowing where this is going to go, uh, this might eventually hang in a house someplace. Uh, standard framing is 16 inches on center. So if I go 16, 32, that's two studs apart. Quick measurement from this side gives me 16 and a quarter. So I'm going to mark it 8 and an eighth on that end, 8 and an eighth on that end. And just to double check myself, that is 32 inches. So that should be able to hang off of uh, standard framing if somebody so desires to do that. Uh, next up, I'm going to get these uh, eye bolts, put a washer top and bottom to help hold them. We'll get those screwed in here so that we can uh, get these mounted. It was originally drawn on this as my hole for my hole for my top of my bat rack. So if I use this, I can kind of gauge where my top is. Put a little pencil mark. This one here looks like it's going to be right about here. I do have PVC glue. I'm going to glue these on. Um, I'm not using any primer. Uh, these are not going to keep water out because there's full holes for starters. And the other reason is I don't want to have any of that purple get over something and make it not look so good. So just a nice swath of glue. Line up my lines. <clears throat> Hold it for a few seconds. So I didn't get exactly on the edge, but it's pretty close. Um, a bat doesn't need to uh, be hauled too far off these end caps. 
a good quality chain that I got from Lowe's. Uh, it does say it supports 500 pounds. Uh, it's overkill. This obviously is never going to hold 500 pounds. But uh, I did like the looks of it. It's got a nice, clean, crisp look to it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this eye bolt right here. And I'm going to slide this in. But with the way it's got it to set up is if I put one here, I'm going to have you know, enough chain that it can go where it needs to go to catch the chain links. Uh, but not too much. Uh, but I do want to make sure that it goes correctly. I've got my carabiner that's going to slide in here and it's going to hook onto the chain. But when everything's said and done, I want it to be a nice even look. So if it's like this, this one goes this way, that way. So I want to have my carabiner be the second one. So I want to go even numbers. So two, four, six, eight, ten links. Looks about right. I'm going to go ahead and cut that off on the 11th link. Ten. Cutting this one right here. Stick it in there like this. And snap. Two, four, six, eight, ten. My other link. To verify, I'll make sure these are the exact same length. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, open up those eye, eye bolts. All right, so to open these up, I'm just gonna clamp this into this vise screwdriver, drive it in here, give it a little bit of a twist. Just have to try it again. Take my chain, just gonna take my link, stick it in here like this, just give it a little tap. Done. Open this up and press that bolt back together. So then you have something like this, chain's not gonna fall off, and this is what is going to hang the bat rack. Here are the eye bolts. The chain's attached. I'm going to stick one in here. Same thing on the other side. Uh, this is the fun part. Uh, I've got a wrench. I'm going to put a washer on the bottom and a nut and uh, we'll get these attached and this bat rack will be ready. These carabiners I have won't quite fit inside here. This loop is just a little bit too small. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this chain link, stick it in my vise, and just press the vise and turn that last chain link into an oval. You can see here what the first chain link looks like. That one looks like this. Now this carabiner slides right on. All right, so I got a piece of belt uh, from my belt sander. I saved my scrap pieces of belt. A little bit more aggressive paper here. I'm just gonna hit this, knock off these sharp edges. Um, I do not want a bat to get scratched up or anything because of this rack I made. The goal for this rack was to actually protect the bats. So I'm gonna start at this end and I'm just gonna go around. Alright, so we have it all done. Uh, it's going to hang from these carabiners. You can hook right into a chain link fence. Just pull it back. It'll hook. Um, it can go eye bolts to a stud, however you want to do it at your house. Uh, I do have the our school mascot on this end, and I have that logo on that end. Um, I've been asked a few times why I always put those logos on there. Uh, and they tell you the same thing I tell them. Duh, this is the bat rack. So with that, you guys have a great evening. Tomorrow morning, we're going to uh, give it its first run. So have a great night.